So, Ira, what was it like to hear your name chanted in McHale? Love it, man. You know, I've, I've been here for three years. You know, I've worked hard, you know, worked hard with my teammates. You know, coaches always believed in me, man. So it's just, it's beautiful to hear that. It's beautiful to hear that with a win, too. What was your approach coming into this game? Obviously, you know, you knew you were going to have a bigger role. Um, honestly, the same approach I have every game, just coming ready, coming ready to win, um, you know, make the unselfish plays, make sure everybody stays together, make sure everybody plays hard. So, you know, I felt like I did that today, and uh, can, I'll continue doing that. Nico, how much have you been working on your rebounding? Um, I mean, personally, uh, you can't do it by yourself, really. So we, it's really a team thing. And um, that's been a really big focus for us in practice and uh, shoot arounds, walkthroughs, whatever we're doing. That's that's one of our main points of emphasis. And we knew coming into this game, Colorado's a really good um, offensive and defensive rebounding team. So that was kind of had it in my head a little more and uh, got a couple bounces, I'd say. Define the difference in defense from what we saw Sunday in Corvallis to what we saw today. Right. I mean, I think we were just we were super focused, super locked in. Um, it's hard playing games, two games in three days or two games in four days on the road. That stuff kind of gets to you. And I'd say we have a lot of young guys. Um, that was our first real road trip. So that may have been part of it, but I don't think we were completely locked in as a group on that trip um, in the second game. But I think that's that's a big thing for us is being locked in. And when we're locked in, um, I mean, we play like we did today. We've heard so much about you know the freshmen, the freshmen, but I mean, how important has it been for veteran guys like you and, and Max to really step up to the forefront? I mean, it's big, but also I give credit to them because they they listen. You know, they they're not selfish guys. None of them have egos. You know, they're willing to listen. They ask questions. So, you know, I've, whatever they ask, I'm I'll try to give them whatever I can, and uh, that's that's honestly how you build a team. Nico, when you say you guys were locked in, I mean, the, the being at home or. In fact, that it's Colorado and they're ranked. I mean, any of that stuff kind of make it easier to be locked down for a game like that? Um, I mean, we knew they were a good team, but I'd say we treated it like every other game. Um, just coming to the game focused. Scout, we had to, we locked in on Scout. Um, had a good meal this morning. Had Scout again this morning, and we were just we were just locked in today. I'd say. You guys feel like it's maybe as good as any game you played this season? Or? Um, one of them, yeah. You know, uh, any other you know reasons behind that that you feel like things are coming together this in these past two games? Uh, I mean, at the end of the day, it's conference play. You know, conference play is it's hectic. You know, everybody wants to win, so I just feel like we as we consistently stay together as a unit. Then you know, good things will happen in March for us. So you know, we're we're going to focus on that. Take it day by day. We're not going to look too far ahead and uh, just keep working. Was the key against Bay. He only had four shots. Mm. Um, he's an energy guy, man. You just we had a match his intensity, and uh, that's what we did. Everybody did, not just me. You know, so, um, you know, he 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 was struggling on the boards too. He's I think he's the best rebounder in our our conference. So you know, we kept him off the glass, um, kept him from getting to his spot. So I think as a team, we did a great job on him. Nico, what do you think led to Max's kind of resurgence here in this weekend? Um. I mean, credit to him. He's mentally just a, a really tough kid, um, really confident. And you could kind of see it in practice leading up to this week. He was he was hitting a bunch of shots, and you could just tell he was feeling it. So um, when you had that game uh, two days ago, you kind of knew his confidence has come back. And um, he's just he's he's a great kid, and you love to see it. I'm, I'm super happy for him. All right, what did it take for you to kind of kind of keep yourself you know, on the straight and narrow after your minutes started to slip a little bit against St. John's? Um, you know, I, I give credit to my teammates. You know, they kept me locked in, and I just, I just came in every day, did the same thing I do every day: work hard, get my extra reps in, you know, get my extra runs in. You know, I just, I didn't change anything, but I give the biggest credit to my teammates. You know, they're always talking to me: "Hey, stay ready, Lee. Stay ready." You know, they're just always letting me know that I'm a good player, and you know, I, I kept that in mind. I just kept going. That's all. Seems like you like really been challenging guys at the rim lately, though. I mean, where's that aggressiveness coming from? I mean, I I feel like I've I've always had that, so you know I'm just it's just coming back out. That's that's all. Nico, what do you think about Boy Harris from playing? Um, I mean, a lot of people take it as a surprise, but I was me and him played uh, on the same AAU team. I was a couple years younger, but I was at all his games when he was 17U and I was 15U. So um, a lot of people take it as a surprise, but I've kind of seen it before. I saw all those dunks back in high school when he was a junior senior. So um, it, it's good to it's good to see it start coming around again. You guys took some, I guess, what you would call fast break threes today. Are those good threes, and how do you categorize when to take a three? Like? Right. Um, our, a big focus for us is getting it to the paint before we take um, threes. 
Um, but if it's in transition or um, time and score or someone's hit, like Max, if he hits one or two, I think that's a good shot for our team if he's open, um, even if it's a quick shot. Thanks, guys. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Thank you.